What up, YouTube? It's Freddy here, and uh, this is the first time I'm doing a webcam capture off of this, and it's enlarged, so I'm going to try to fit in the screen. And today I'm doing a Trade Talks video, so I know I haven't done one in a while. I have been procrastinating a lot, along with a lot of high school homework and stuff like that. Uh, so today's trade is about, or it's between the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, this one, it's kind of complicated, or not, sorry, uh, kind of simple to wrap your mind around why the Lakers did this. Uh, one reason, <gasps> tanking, or at least that's what I'm assuming, and, uh, that's what I'm hoping at least. But, uh, they gave away Steve Blake, one of their decent, um, men on the, men off of the bench, who this season has been having a wonderful season. He's averaging 9.5 points per game, 7.6 assists per game, and 3.8 rebounds per game. And, uh, uh, sorry. So, yeah. And, uh, right now, as, uh, as it stands, uh, if he doesn't get injured again, he is going to be a great player for the, uh, Golden State Warriors because they need some more experience in the in the uh, front court in my opinion. I know like uh, a lot of people disagree with me on that, but that is my opinion and that's why I'm making these videos so I can get other people's feedback on my personal opinion. Uh so in exchange for Steve Blake the Lakers got Kent Bazemore. Uh this is his second year in the NBA. He's this season he's averaging 2.3 points per game, uh, half an assist per game, and almost a rebound per game. Uh, obviously he isn't a premier player, neither is Marshawn Brooks, we'll get to him in a second. But I mean, if he has the right people around him, like he's also a shooting guard, if Kobe can like, uh, I guess mentor him for the next season if he doesn't, re if he doesn't retire after next season, uh, Kent, I mean, he can become a decent player, like on Steve Blake's level, but that's gonna take a little while. Uh, but for now, I mean, that's decent when you, because he's also been playing what, like, uh, just about 2.3 minutes per game. Uh, no, sorry, uh, 6.1 minutes per game, and I mean, if he can get more playing time kind of like Ryan Kelly, he could be more productive. Uh, so another, pl the second player that they received was Marshawn Brooks. Uh, Marshawn Brooks, this is his third year in the NBA, drafted first round, uh, 25th pick by Boston. So either, or yeah, he was, ah, oh, damn it. You know what, I'm getting off track. Uh, so this season he is averaging 2.6 points per game. Uh, 0.2 assists per game and 1.4 rebounds per game. So this season he's having 5.2 minutes per game, and like I said, with Kent Bazemore, he is not a premier player. But if he gets some right mentoring, mentoring, um, gets some more playing time, get dips his feet a little bit more into the NBA, he can become a decent player as well. Uh, but in the end, the winner of this trade has been the Golden State Warriors because they received a pretty decent, uh, come off the bench get, and he'll give you a good solid, uh, couple or 13 minutes of play, getting like what, four assists or however many he's uh, averaging. But, uh, yeah, like 7.6 assists per game, and that's in, oh, never mind, 33 minutes. So, yeah, obviously, he won't play as well, but uh, he'll still contribute a lot towards the Golden State bench. And, I mean, the Lakers, in a way, kind of won, too, because they got, a, they got two young players that might be able to develop into good players if they're mentored right. Uh, just like Nick Young, how he's also being mentored by Kobe Bryant. He's doing all right. He's kind of uh, he's flaky, and uh, especially 
with uh, assists and rebounds. So for now, I guess uh, I'm just going to sign off and see you guys next time.